Hey, yo, what is going on with her once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys and fans, and of course, people of Manny. Talk to Nikki Gamora's out. This is Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are Rusty Intros Natural Torture channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff. Um, let's see if I could try to make this a real quick video. I got some other. I, I usually don't do videos on like Tuesday, Wednesday, even though, granted, this video is going to be going on maybe Saturday, Sunday. This coming weekend, I don't know. Whenever the video comes, it'll come. I know this ones are both like a, right, the time you're watching is two and a half days old for the, I was going to call it Superman trailer because Henry Cavill's in it. The Witcher, I know there was another Witcher like trailer that came out two weeks ago. I didn't want to react to it though because uh, I don't want to act and pretend, oh, I'm such a hardcore Witcher fan for the PS4 game. I'm not sure if it came out for the PS3 and then Xbox 360 era. I'm not sure about that. But I found out a couple uh, months ago that The Witcher was actually based on an illustrated book novel. It wasn't even a video game in the first place, which is crazy. I know that's what Netflix is based on, but it was basing the story of The Witcher on. They're not basing it on the video games. But they should base it a lot more on the video game adaptation compared to the author illustrated book novel adaptation. Because let's be honest, nobody barely even reads fucking books anymore. Very people in the world, few people in the world even do that anymore. You know when I was a 90s kid before internet started getting big? I hated fucking reading. It was just so fucking boring shit. It's like skill and talent I already knew how to do really quickly. So like, why in the fucking shit would I even need to fucking read books when I'm not going to do that for a living in the future when I got older? I always used to have that just constant. No offense that there are any author, book, illustrator people that are fucking out there that like reading that shit. That's good. That's cool. Do what you want to do. But for me personally, I just don't really give a shit. I'm sorry. That shit just bores the absolute hell out of me. I need to see it. I'm not, I don't care if you call it, oh, you're a dumbass for just liking movies and anime and games. I don't care. It's like For me, I, I need to see something. If I want to be entertained by a certain medium that's out there, usually it's with anime, manga, or video games, sometimes movies. When it, depends on what it is, um, per se. But uh, I need to see it in a visual way. I can't just read about it and just use my mind. I'm not going to lie. I do have in my I'm not trying to, like, you know, you know, um, push my own clout, if you will, or try to say I'm better than everyone else, was I'm not, definitely not, far from that, <laughs> um, I just, I need to see it in a visual thing, that's the only thing that'll entertain me a lot more than just imagining wise, like, yeah, I can imagine it, but it's not the same as visually and physically seeing it for yourself, for your own fucking two eyes, in my own personal opinion, anyways, um, this trailer here, before I get to the Henry Cavill's, um, the Witcher thing, which stars Henry Cavill on it. Hopefully, I'm not going to copyright claim for that. I really hope to God I don't, because if I do, that's going to suck. It is what it is. So, yeah, Kenobi. This is like a little fan made film. I don't think it's officially from Star Wars, so hopefully, I don't have to worry about LucasArts or Disney coming after my channel and shutting it down. I pray to God, fingers crossed, that doesn't happen, because that would be a bitch if it did. If it does, I still got two other YouTube channels. Uh, I don't really leave them on here or really talk about it that much, but I do got other two YouTube channels. And, I might still, if my, my channel's still here, I'm still going to be doing Dead Battle next week. I'm going to be reacting to Dead Battle. It's going to have the guy Sensei do from Naruto, which that one in My Hero Academia, two very beautiful parts of my life. You know, My Hero Academia came out like three or four years ago, and I was already in my 20s at the time, because I'm in my 30s now. Um, I still love the fuck out of that anime. It's really amazing as fuck. All Might wasn't my most favorite. He was kind of like annoying as shit, in my own personal opinion. He was okay, but he's kind of annoying as crap. But Guy Sensei, he was cool as shit. He was all right. Anyways, Kenobi, links down below to both these. I'm going to be reacting to that, and then Mighty Raccoon just released another video. I'll probably do it next week, a reaction to it. I know it has Shazam versus Black Adam, so I'll be on the lookout for those. Three, two, one, let's get it in. Kenobi. Hopefully this shit is good. It's got to be. You're as foolish as your dead religion. You think you're protecting him? You're putting him in danger, Ben. And not just him. You can't avoid the Empire the rest of your life. Kenobi. That looked nice. It's all right. Ooh, who's that? Does Hello it there. Like Anakin Skywalker? Or Obi Wan? Oh, so it's all about the Obi Wan Kenobi dude. Okay. Uh, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I really don't have that much to say about. It's like a 40 second clip trailer. It's really short as fuck. So I really honestly have no idea to like really have overall thoughts, views, and opinions about it. The only thing that I know, it had that really beautiful soundtrack. It wasn't the official like George Lucas like orchestral soundtrack from the original Star Wars 
or the After series. I know some people may or may not like that one because I think I was like in middle school, high school, and it was a really huge one. And then years later, I think it was 2014, 15, when the other the Star Wars that we got right now, I know some people really hate it because of the bullshit ass SJW feminist garbage that they promote in there, which I don't agree with at all. But I still want to watch it just for the action. I mean, the story I know is supposed to be real important for a lot of old school Star Wars fans that grew up with the series, which obviously I wasn't around when the original ones came out because I think. The first one, I think it was 1978, 1979, and then after that was, I think, 1983 and 85 for the first three Star Wars films, the original ones that, the very first ones that started the franchise, and years later, I think it was like 2000, 2001 to 2005, 06, between those few years, I think, I could be wrong on this, even though, I'm not going to say I'm a super hardcore, hardcore Star Wars fan, where I know everything about the lore and the plots and all that shit. I'm just, I don't want to say I'm a casual one either because I do love a lot of the fucking beautiful badass characters. All the fight sequences they have for all the Star Wars movies because I've seen all of them. Obviously, I'm still going to see the one that comes out this coming week. Well, by the time you see this video, it'll be this coming week on January, not January, December 20th. I'm still going to watch that fucker. Hell to the frick yes, I'm going to be watching that one. Um, even though, yeah, granted, yeah, they might have some political gender. Oh, like Donald Trump voters are bad. And, you know, the whole political spectrum side of it, which I'm not going to get into because I don't give a fuck about politics. I never did. I never will. Um, but, yeah, whether it has that shit in there or not, I'm just going to watch it just as a casual fanboy. As long as they still got action and adventures and things blowing up all crazy in the movies into this freaking Star Wars movie, that's all I really give a shit about. I don't care about just political agendas they try to push with Democrat, Republicans, all this other shit. If they push that shit, yeah, it's going to make me cringe a little bit. I'm not going to like it, but as long as they get the other sh shit right. I know, like, a lot of people don't want Rey to be the freaking female hero. Now, she says something super feministic. I'm going to probably just shit in the movie that says probably one of the worst Star Wars movies of all time. You know, you could say the other two Star Wars movies had a lot of bullshit-ass political agendas. Maybe to a certain extent that might be true, but I didn't really give a fuck. As long as the action and the fighting and all the really cool, iconic-ass... Not storylines, because I know the storyline might be shitty a little bit, but as long as that shit is put into place, that's all I care about. Anyways, hopefully I get this right. If not, I apologize. Um, let's get into this one right here. This is going to be fucking crazy. The Witcher. I'm not a real big fan. Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm not a huge fan of the Witcher series, but I never really played the games. It's, just, it's not that kind of gameplay. I'm not saying it's a bad game for the new, the current systems, which right now is a PS4 Pro. And you got the Nintendo Switch, and of course with the Switch Lite. I don't know if the Witcher's going to be on the Switch Lite. It probably will be. Who knows? And then you got you know, with the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. And I just saw. Um, I know this has nothing to do with. It has something to do with video games because just the other night, as I'm recording this video, because it already happened a couple days ago. By the time you guys see it, um, the Game Awards. You know, the one that hosts Jeff Keighley all the time. I know some people on Twitter got really pissed. There was no Smash Bros. character revealed. I'm probably going to be in the minority when I say this, but. And the whole Fast and Furious thing, I get it. They didn't want movies in Hollywood to like have anything to do with the main core audience that are hardcore gamers like myself that grew up with playing a lot of video games and shit. I'm not going to say I don't like movies. Like I just said, there's some movies I absolutely love the shit out of. But that whole franchise media of movies is a different from when it comes to gaming shit. Gaming shit is its own kind of... I'm not going to say separate thing because Hollywood, occasionally they try to make video game movies. A lot of the times they shit really badly. I mean, look what happened back in the days of Super Mario Brothers and the Doom movie that had The Rock in it back in the day. Um, now it's a little bit different. There's some video game movies that go from video games to movie. They do pretty well, or they just kind of fall on their ass. It depends. 3, 2, 1, let's get it in. I want to watch this Witcher thing. Hopefully it's good. It better be good. And if it's not... Cyril, be you are the lion god of Sintra. call of the white wolf. Why do you think she's not safe? I saw an army. I saw a sea of black and gold. We have power to destroy everything.
Herald of Rivia. We can stop Nilfgaard. I will personally defeat them. Join us. Why would I protect this? I want to be powerful. I will take the girl. Protect her. And bring her back on home. Tell me that this is finally the moment you've decided to actually care about someone other than yourself. Don't touch Roach. <laughs> you didn't like that. <laughs> that was all right. I wasn't like the worst thing in the world, but I don't know. Anyone that's you guys out there that are hardcore Witcher fans, you might like this a little bit more than me. I, I'd never played any of the games, let alone I never even read any books. I had no idea until a few months ago. I think it was in like April, May, June earlier this year 2019 where they said netflix was going to make an official like service not service but like an original tv series well streaming service series because tv is pretty much dead at this point of um the witcher when i first heard about this announcement i was like ah i don't know man i'm not gonna really be feeling this shit and i'm probably gonna completely pass it because i i'm not a hardcore person of this franchise if i was then maybe i would invest my time and Maybe my money into collecting, if they got comic books or physical tangibility like merch or merchandise, aka that, um, then I'll probably be into it. But other than that, it's like, it's all right. It's good. It wasn't the worst trailer I ever seen. It was all right. I really hope and pray to God I don't get a copyright claim or strike for that fucking music in the background, but I might, unfortunately. That's a freaking damn YouTube is nowadays. That's all I gotta say for now. And uh, yeah, Henry Cavill, he did all right as um this character is called Gerald. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, why can't you be a fan of this? It's just stuff that has to do with that. It's just ah, uh, it gives me a lot of. I know a lot of people are gonna shit on me for anyone that's in the Skyrim or Bethesda like fanboy fangirl community. It's like, but stuff like the Elder Scrolls, like games like those, it just they don't resonate with me. I know there's a real big, super huge fan size and fan base for that sort of thing me i just never really gave a crap about stuff like that i'm sorry just i try giving it a chance it just puts me to sleep like within seconds it's not my kind of like franchise to get into not saying it's because it's a bad thing it's just i never really cared about stuff like that i'm sorry hopefully that doesn't offend anybody if it does i'm sorry i i can't tell you just you could be into your own thing i'm gonna be into my own thing that's how we could settle this shit anyways that's all i gotta say for now and i'm out of here Links to Scripture Boss down below, unless you watched it with me. And Scripture Boss down below if you want to see it yourself. And I'm out. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And as always, otakus and ikikomoris out there, I will see when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are in the universe out there. I'm stay tuned more future content on the channel, including video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and of course reaction videos like this. And that's it. Peace out. I'm out like sauerkraut, late saying goodbye. I'll see all you people on the flip side. Take it easy, I'm gone, and I'm out. Laters.